Okay, we're back and answering your questions now. And first up, we have a question for Pete. It's from Nicholas in La Jolla, California. Beautiful La Jolla. Yeah, isn't it? Nike. Ooh. You wear your Nikes in La Jolla or what? Uh, I do not. I think Nike's really stretched right now. When I look at where it is trading on a PE, uh, it's trading around 35, I think, right now. I'd rather be in something that's had a lot, little bit higher PE but also growing faster, Lululemon. So if I'm going to do one versus the other right now, I absolutely. I'm still in Lulu. I continue to hold on to it. I've been in there for almost a year, I think, or a little bit longer. I still think there's plenty of upside because the, the verticals that they've got with men's and other areas, including e-commerce, which are absolutely slaughtering it right now, I think that the growth that we see there still has more to go. And yet Nike, I'm not so positive about that one. All right, Doc, for you, uh, from Catherine in St. Petersburg, Florida, Beyond Meat. When should you get into a name that's just been flying? Well, they just announced a deal uh, that they're working with Dunkin' Donuts on a meats, an art of a plant-based meat sandwich. Mm -hmm. I know Josh Brown loves both the plant-based meat and Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> so, Josh, what a bang! But they've they've got earnings the 29th. What Scott. a great guy you are. <laughs> earnings the 20th. Yeah, thank you. Threw earnings right the, the 29th. Green, <laughs> so I would say wait until after those earnings come out because it's hit. 200 and just above a couple times. I think you wait till after the earnings because this one could suffer a little bit be if it doesn't outperform. By the way, Beyond and Duncan Brands CEOs are going to be on later today Ooh, on the bell, closing yeah. bell. So yeah. don't miss that. It's a first on CNBC interview. Oh, I'm sorry, on the exchange. Forgive me. It's 1:15 uh, p.m. Of both of those around. CEOs coming yes. on. Court, your turn for Mark in Pennsylvania. Uber. Uh -oh. What do you think of Pennsylvania? Uber? Pennsylvania. Okay. Huh? What do I think of Uber? Oh, I love Uber. Um, no, but seriously, uh, how long do I have to talk about it? No, I love Pennsylvania. My, my aunt Careful. lives in Pennsylvania. I love Pennsylvania. Careful. Scott. Go ahead. Um, no, I, I, I love Uber. And at Loop Capital, we actually have a price target of $54 on the stock. And from a personal perspective, I've been talking about this name for a very long time. I mean, they are market dominators, right? Every place but China, Russia, and Southeast Asia, I mean, they dominate the market in which they're in right now. They're doing innovative and creative things. Um, you know, and ultimately, I think Uber, you know what, I'm going to give you something for the summertime. Keep the kids engaged here. So Coke is to soda, right? Coke just killed it, crushed it. Coke is to soda what Uber is to ride hailing. And when you go out to get a, a, a ride, you say, I'm going to get an Uber. I don't care what ride hailing service you might be using. You're saying, I'm going, hey, order an Uber. That says to you what that brand means to this market, and it's worth something long term. All right, Joe, for you, Lana in Oceanside, California, wants to know about Home Depot. Home Depot what up, 20, do? up 24 percent year to date, a little bit off the all time highs. They stay with it. Lowe's, which fell in May, is only up 11 percent. I think there's an opportunity there for that one to play a little catch up as well. All right. Farmer Jim. From South. Oh, it's from Farmer Phil. Oh, in South <laughs> Carolina. Fellow farmer. Farmer <laughs> Phil in South Carolina says Farmer Jim. How do you feel about Valero? Farmer Phil, One you got farmer to another. Hey, farmer Phil, you got to put diesel in that tractor, baby. And diesel comes from crude oil. Along the way, Valero cracks it. Let's take this tie off. Cracks it from crude oil into diesel and jet fuel and all that stuff. Crack spreads are great right now. They're going to get better. You want to know why? All this turmoil in the Middle East, Venezuela, Libya, Russia, it favors big refiners like Valero that can switch from one grade of crude oil to another. Great place to okay. be right now. All right. Thank you for your questions, as always.